The Morning Rush. Here we go, everything you need to know to get your day started. Meteorologist Lauren Aleski kicks off your morning rush. It's a windy day outside for us today. Rough conditions at our beaches. Looking in Lake Worth, cloudy skies out there for us today as well. Our weather pattern not going to look so great as we move through the remainder of our week and into the weekend. Light showers already moving across parts of our area, especially in Indian River County. Just some light showers. Most of us starting in the 70s this morning. Highs today only in the 70s this afternoon. Temperatures won't move very much over the next several days. A flood watch is in effect for eastern Palm Beach County along and east of 441 through at least tomorrow night. This will likely get extended to include other portions of our area heading into the weekend and temperatures again staying mild out there for our Wednesday and really windy. A northeast wind sustained near 20 miles per hour. A search is expected to pick back up shortly here at Hosford Park in Stewart after a 74 year old man went missing while in the water. Martin County Sheriff's deputies got the call around 530 last night. They say an elderly couple from Indiana took their boat out when the current caused it to drift off. The husband then jumped in and tried to swim after it, but he then could not get himself out of the water. We know first responders spent last night searching for the man, but so far have been unsuccessful. Police are searching for the man responsible for a hit and run in Port St. Lucie. Officers say they're tied to a crash from Monday night on Southwest Savona Boulevard and Southwest Patricia Avenue. Surveillance video caught the white GMC Sierra pickup truck turn and hit a white car, stop to the stop sign, then drive away. The suspect officers are searching for is a white male between 60 and 70 years old with dirty blonde hair. Juno Beach police are trying to figure out who is responsible for destroying a sand sculpted menorah and leaving a swastika on it. The Jewish Federation of Palm Beach County, as well as the synagogue behind the menorah creation, are now inviting the public to gather at the site of the incident tonight around 5 p.m. They're urging the community to bring candles, menorahs, or lighters to show everyone that light will fight the darkness of hatred. And today, President Joe Biden is set to meet with family members of Americans who were taken hostage by Hamas during the October 7th terror attack in Israel. Meanwhile, the IDF says it has recovered the bodies of two hostages in Gaza and that they have been brought back to the Jewish state. Yesterday, the United Nations General Assembly uh, voted overwhelmingly to demand a humanitarian ceasefire in the war, which is now entering its third month.